Hi, kids. Today we will learn about capacity. So let's get started. Kids, do you know what is capacity? Capacity is the maximum amount that something can contain. Here are a few containers. For each of these containers, will it hold the same amount of water? No. Each of these containers will hold different amounts of water. And the amount of water each of the containers can hold is its capacity. Now, which container can hold the maximum water? Yeah, red container can hold the maximum water. So we say red container has the maximum capacity among these containers. Now, which container can hold the least water among these? Green container is smallest, so it can hold the least amount of water. So green container has the least capacity among all the containers. Now kids, you know, what is capacity? Now let's learn the units for measuring capacity. Capacity is measured in L or ML, where L is symbol for liter and ML is symbol for milliliter. Kids, one liter equals 1,000 millimeters. Now let's see how much quantity is one milliliter. This small container can hold at most one milliliter of water. So its capacity is one milliliter. Now, let's learn how much quantity is 25 milliliters. This small container can hold at most 25 milliliters of water. So, its capacity is 25 milliliters. Now, let's learn how much quantity is 500 milliliters. Here, we have a container that can hold at most 500 milliliters of water. So, its capacity is 500 milliliters. Now, let's learn how much quantity is one liter. Here, we have a jug. The exact amount of water this jug can contain is one liter. So, its capacity is one liter. That is, it can contain one liter of water or any liquid. So kids, now you have a fair idea what is capacity and the units for measuring capacity. Now let's move on to some questions. One liter is how many millimeters? It is 1,000 milliliters. Two liter is how many milliliters? 1,000 milliliters plus 1,000 milliliters equals 2,000 milliliters. Three liters is how many milliliters? It is 1,000 milliliters plus 1,000 milliliters plus 1,000 milliliters. That is 3,000 milliliters. Good. Now, 500 milliliters plus 500 milliliters makes how many liters? It is one liter. As 500 milliliters 
plus 500 milliliters is 1,000 milliliters. Now, 250 milliliters plus 250 milliliters plus 500 milliliters is how many liters? It is a gain one liter as it adds up to 1,000 milliliters. Now, 3,000 milliliters is how many liters? It is three liters. Good. Here we have a jug whose capacity is one liter. And we also have a bucket whose capacity is four liters. Then, how many jugs are required to fill the bucket completely? One jug will contain one liter of water. So, four jugs will make four liters of water. So, we need four jugs of water to completely fill the bucket. Let's move on to the next question. Capacity of one tumbler is 500 milliliters. And capacity of this jug is one liter. Then how many tumblers of water are required to fill this jug? One tumbler contains 500 milliliters. Two tumblers will contain 500 milliliters plus 500 milliliters equals 1,000 milliliters or one liter. So two tumblers of water are required to fill the jug. Now, let's move on to the next question. One jug holds one liter of water. We can pour four jugs of water in a bucket. Then, what is the capacity of the bucket? Let's solve this question. Capacity of the jug is one liter. And we can pour four jugs of water in the bucket. Four jugs means four liters of water. So, capacity of the bucket is four liters. So, kids, today we learn what is capacity. Now, you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.